Uh, I, yes. So I'm uh, originally from the New England area. I went to uh, high school in Rhode Island and then moved back to Boston for college. I went to Berkeley College of Music from 1982 to 1985 and uh, moved to Los Angeles in the summer of 85. Uh, started playing bass in eighth grade, so I must have been 13 when I first started. I had been playing horns from the time I was eight or nine, saxophone and trumpet, and uh, picked up bass basically because I was the last one to get a guitar, so I had to be the bass player. And uh, actually took to it. I loved it way better than playing guitar. And all the guitar players are going, yeah, right, but uh, I prefer the bass. Uh, moved to L.A. in 85, got completely engulfed in the 80s hairband, glam, metal extravaganza, and did that whole scene through the early 90s. And then when that whole scene died, I just kind of have been putzing around L.A., doing sessions and casuals and whatever corporate party or wedding or bar mitzvah and uh, doing that since then basically so since the early 90s I've been doing the music scene out here um, started playing with Stolen Fish in 95 I think 1995 hooked up with them bunch of great players have come and gone through that band um, and through that through a lot of the, the name players that have been in Stolen Fish and that are still in Stolen Fish, it's kind of gotten me a lot of work um, just through being connected to some of the other players, which has been great, and I'm very thankful for that and uh, very aware. Yeah, Stolen Fish since 95, and um, just kind of doing whatever gig comes my way. Uh, work with a ton of great players. Being in LA, y you know, I mean, you could be doing the worst casual and be playing with like the greatest, biggest name, supersonic cats. And, you know, there's just a, it's such a great scene out here. Uh, you can see the best players in the world seven nights a week at any number of clubs out here. We're in the baked potato right now. Uh, I do a Monday night thing every Monday at the Baked Potato here with a band called Hubcap Corral with uh, Bernie Gillane on drums, Jamie Kime on guitar, John Ziegler on guitar, and uh, whoever happens to be sitting in with us. Uh, it's basically an open fusion jam. We play a set and then the second set is open for all the guys in town to show up after their crappy gigs and kind of cut loose. And uh, it's been great, another great way to meet people. And uh, uh, yeah, it's been going on strong for a couple years now, you know. And uh, this place is amazing. It just, it stinks of history. You know, I don't know if you can smell through the web, but the greasiness in here, I mean, if you just look around at some of the posters and everybody that you can imagine has played here and still does play here. You know, you can walk in any night of the week and this is this is one of the scenes since probably the early 70s, I think 1970 it opened and everyone and anyone that you can imagine has played here. Just crazy, you know. Stolen Fish actually Karen the lead singer of Stolen Fish uh had a band with her, one of her ex-boyfriends, who happened to be the first person I ever met at Berkeley, this guy Billy Tunis, who has uh, a thing now called Vaseline Tuner, which is very art rock. It's interesting. Check it out. Vaseline Tuner, and you'll get a smile. But Billy and Karen had started it in probably 1993 or 94, just as an acoustic duo. And... Um, through a mutual friend, I went down to see them at a little coffee house gig, and the tunes were just amazing. So I told my buddy, let me 
let me play with you guys. You, it's just two of you. Let, let's have a bass player, too. So I hooked up with them. And uh, since then, we've gone through a spinal tap amount of drummers, it seems. Uh, landing finally on Makoto Izumitani, who's in the band now and has been, I think, since probably 1998, 97 quite a long time uh, over the course of the years Billy left the guitar player who formed it with Karen and he was then replaced with Jimmy Malice who's an amazing amazing guitar player in town he does a lot of uh, really cool stuff really really great stuff he played in the band for maybe a year or so and uh, he split for you know whatever supersonic gig he had to do and Mike Landau joined the band and now Mike has been in the band since I think 1999 or 2000 and uh, we've done two albums with Mike there's actually a first album with Jimmy on it that we recorded live here um, Mike Landau has been in the band for a while now like I said since the early since 2000 and uh, it's just wild and crazy times with those those three. We've been talking about doing a new album for maybe a year or so, and uh, I know Karen's got a ton of new material. Um, I'm not sure when we're going to start. It's random. I know that we we have seven pages of album titles that we've gone through in a few drunken hazes so I'm sure we have the title for the album somewhere in that pad but that's it at this point we don't know three different guitar players as well as between Billy leaving and Jimmy joining we did it with just Karen playing guitar we did it as a power trio with Karen, Makoto, and myself for maybe two or three gigs and realized that that just wasn't, wasn't any fun. The songs come across so much better.